Hello students hope you all are doing well I am Nitin and today we will be discussing a new topic which is on collection transport and culching of clinical samples this is the sequel to our medical microbiology lecture series clinical samples are biological material collected from a person for a diagnosis of disease so the first is collection specimen should be collected in such a way that contamination due to indigenous flora is minimized sufficient material must be submitted for cultures and other tests while swabs have the advantage of being convenient and easy to use they limit the volume of the specimen that can be collected they become contaminated easily although occasions to occur when a collection of tissue or fluid is not possible and swabs must therefore be used persons collecting specimens should provide complete information on specimen requisition forms from where the specimen is collected whether the patient was receiving antimicrobial therapy before specimen collection or at the time specimens were collected specific pathogens that are being sought the method by which specimens were collected whether the patient may be infected with pathogens known to be hazardous to lab personnel such information is necessary to ensure that specimens are processed promptly that appropriate cultures are performed and that test processing is appropriate for the method of specimen collection next is transport in general specimens collected for microbiological testing can be transported in sterile specimen containers healthcare systems should have an infrastructure that eliminates systematic delays in either transport or processing specimen containers must be transported in such a way as to minimize the damage that could result in contamination of the specimen or exposure of the personnel to blood or other body fluids most specimens can be transported at room temperatures some specimens must be transported on ice last is storage most specimens requiring prolonged storage before processing should be refrigerated refrigeration maintains the viability of pathogens and preserve them in their relative proportions specimens that should not be refrigerated include blood which should be kept at room temperatures or in an incubator at 35 degrees celsius cerebrospinal fluid should be transported at room temperature well many commercial products are available for transporting tissues and fluid specimens that's all for today's session we will continue with other important guidelines and details on culturing and processing of samples in the next video I am grateful to Archana ma'am for all the support and inspiration in the development of medical microbiology video series. I am so much thankful to all of you for listening to and appreciating our videos. Please subscribe to the channel Mentorship to Assure Abundance. Stay positive and keep learning. Thank you.